Good morning, dear student. Today we are going to discuss our first topic in maths for the classes third and fourth. But before going to the topic, I would like to have a quick review of your first chapter, which is revision. As you all have studied the topics of the first chapter in your previous classes, so you have to solve all the questions of the chapter one given in your book. Now moving towards our second chapter. Title of the unit: Numbers up to ten thousand. Before the discussion, let's have a quick review of its content as shown here. Smallest digit, largest digit, a baker's face value, place value, successor, predecessor, skip counting, comparison of numbers, ordering of numbers. Now our first topic is. four digit numbers till now we have learned how to read and write two digit and three digit number as we all are knowing about largest and smallest two digit number and three digit numbers we know that 999 is the largest three digit number now we shall learn about four digit numbers let us add 1 to 999 as shown below first of all arrange them in form of place value chart and add 1 to it which is equals to 1000 we call 1000 as 1000 1000 is the smallest four digit number here a place value chart for you now moving towards our next topic numbers on abacus A baker's is an instrument made of beads and spike, which is used for calculation. Consider an abacus with four spikes, as shown. Start from the right. The numbers of the beads in the spikes shows ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, respectively. Here are some questions based on abacus. One I am solving for you. Start from the place of ones. Count the beats and write the numbers. Like at the place of ones, there are five beats. At the place of tens, there is one beat. At the place of hundred, there are three beats. And at the place of thousand, there are four beats. Which comes four thousand three hundred fifteen. Now we have to also write the names of the number. I hope. it will be clear to you now moving towards our next topic face value of a digit in a number the face value of a digit in a number is the value of the digit itself at whatever place it may be thus in the number 6897 the face value of 7 is 7 the face value of 9 is 9 the face value of 8 is 8 and the face value of 6 is Six. Now moving towards our next topic, place value of a digit in a number. The place value of a digit in a number depends upon its position in the place value chart. Consider the number seven thousand three hundred forty-eight. First of all, arrange them in form of place value chart as shown below. from there you will be able to find out the correct position of numbers as shown the place value of 8 is equal to 8 ones which is equals to 8 the place value of 4 is equal to 4 tens which is equals to 40 and the place value of 3 is equal to 300 which is equals to 300 the place value of 7 is equal to 7000 which is equals to 7000 remember the place value of 0 is always 0 wherever it may be now moving towards our next topic numbers in expanded form a number when expressed as a sum of the place values of its digits is said to be in its expanded form consider the number 9652 arrange them in form of place value chart as 9652 
equals to 9000 plus 600 plus 5 tens plus 2 ones which is equals to 9000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 2. Thus, the expanded form of 9652 is 9000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 2. We can also say that the short form of 9000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 2 is 9652. Now moving towards our next topic, successor of a number, the number that comes just after a particular number. Mark this word, just after a particular number is called its successor. Clearly, the successor of a number is one more than the number. Thus, the successor of 26 is 27. The successor of 953 is 954. Can you tell me the successor of 52? And so on. Now moving towards our next topic. Predecessor of a number. The number that comes just before a particular number. Mark this word. Just before a particular number is called its predecessor. Clearly, the predecessor of a number is 1 less than the number. Thus, the predecessor of 49 is 48. The predecessor of 836 is 835 and so on. Can you tell me the predecessor of 52? Remember, 0 has no predecessor. Now, moving towards our next topic, skip counting. Suppose, starting with a given number, we write some numbers with a fixed gap between two successive numbers. Then, such a counting is known as skip counting. Counting by twos means there is a gap of two between every two successive numbers. Similarly, counting by five means there is a gap of five between every two successive number and so on. Now, here are some questions for you. Write short form. Write the successor of each of the following numbers. One I am solving for you. A. 379. The successor of 379 is 380. Now moving towards our next topic. Comparisons of numbers. We have already learned the method of finding the greater of the two given numbers up to three digits. We follow the same rule for larger numbers. Rule 1. To compare numbers with different numbers of digits. Rule 2. To compare numbers with the same number of digits. Step 1. First, compare the digit at the leftmost place in the both numbers. Step 2. If they are equal, compare the second digit from the left. Step 3. If the second digit from the left are also equal, compare the third digit from the left. Step 4. Continue until you find unequal digit at the corresponding places. Now, the number with greater such digit is the greater of the two. Let us make it more clear with the help of example. Let us compare 7234 and 6895. Here, both are four digit numbers. Here, the digits are the leftmost place. The digit is 7 in the first number and 6 in the second number and 7 is greater than 6. So, 7234 is greater than 6895. Now, moving towards our next topic, ordering of numbers. When two or more numbers are given, they can be compared using the above rule. Thus, can arrange them from the smallest to the greatest, that is increasing order, or from the greatest to the smallest, that is decreasing order. Ascending order, when a set of given numbers is arranged from the smallest to the greatest, they are said to be in ascending order. Descending order is just opposite of ascending order, as 
when a set of given numbers is arranged from the greatest to the smallest they are said to be in descending order here are some homework for you try to solve it and practice it and assessment for you to evaluate yourself that's all for today thank you